All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwandash. <clears throat> Love honor to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the Akim and the Akwath out there listening and learning, increasing in the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai through the true, uh, true doctrine. Um, I wanted to go into uh, a. <clears throat> All right, this dude um, commented on a brother's uh, video, you know, and plenty of brothers commented back on him, you know, <clears throat> with scriptures, letting him know what's going on, man, because, uh, you know, it's 2022, man. All right, it's 2022, the year of the turn up. All right, <clears throat> where we're supposed to be turning up, not just in spirit. All right, but also in prophecies. <clears throat> <coughs> You know, that the Most High is going to be uh, bringing a pass. Okay, so we ha we're hastening yet. Last year was the, the year of the hastening of the day of the Lord. Okay. <clears throat> this year is the year of the turn up. You know, according to the other Apostle Tahar. You know, and you got you still got people out there, man, that, that, that believe in what this dude Rico Trinidad speaks of. You know, you go to his channel, you don't really see any any videos. Uh, you don't see any edification coming out of this dude, but he knows he's an Israelite, <clears throat> okay? And he thinks that every, every, everybody in Israel needs to join hands and, you know, sing kumbaya, all right? But this is his comment. He said, uh, "We need to stand together as a nation, all right? <clears throat> we need to stand together as a nation, all right? First of all, all right, this wasn't." <coughs> All right, this is for um, um, uh, what does it say? All right, this is for the this truth is for the nation of Israel. All right, but more specifically to the elect of Israel, you know, it's not for everyone. <clears throat> First one is uh, wisdom of Solomon, and this is the one that I posted on there, wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, <clears throat> and verse seven. And in their time they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks amongst the stubble. Which is who? The elect. Okay? The ones that hearken unto the true doctrine. Okay? Not the ones that follow after IUIC. Not the ones that follow after the ways of the world. <coughs> okay? The ones that are following after the true doctrine of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? And that true doctrine is in the form of prophecies. Now, what camp out there has these prophecies? Okay? According to scripture, <clears throat> the true camp, okay, the one that's going to be carrying the truth with them is going to carry the, 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 the prophecies. Okay? Who has the breakdowns for these prophecies? What's the mark of the beast? Okay? Because it doesn't make sense if it's Christianity. Because according to that word, haragma, which is a... <coughs> which is a noun and not just any noun it's an accusative noun which is a direct noun okay which is an actual object okay a direct object a physical tangible object is what the word haragma means and then when you go into the word haragma that word haragma means an incision or a mark printed upon you <coughs> <coughs> you know so it says um and they shall judge the nations Who's they? The elect. Okay? It's not talking about everybody. It's only the elect. The ones that follow the true doctrine. It says, And have dominion over the people, and their Lord shall reign forever. <coughs> that they put their trust in Him, they that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth. Okay? So if you're really about the truth, if you're really about, you know, being a, a brother, if you're really about... <coughs> Being a follower of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, then you would have understand the truth. Okay, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai would have opened up your mind to this truth, and I and I see where he's coming from. All right, because he's probably new, <coughs> you know. And, and as somebody that's brand new, what you first get is a lot of pride. Okay, a lot of pride and a lot of uh, peacemaker vibes. You know, when you're first coming in, you're you're thinking, okay, well. I'm growing in spirit. I'm growing in, in in truth. Okay, how should I start behaving yourself? And you put yourself in this mentality that the man of the Lord, <clears throat> or a man of the Lord, is supposed to be a peacemaker in the sense of 
<clears throat> no, brother, let's all get along. Let's all be that that's that's Christianity. Okay? A true man of the Lord, the way that he's gonna come is by the scriptures. <coughs> <clears throat> you know, Salakia. A true man of the Lord is going to come by the scriptures. <clears throat> you see? So they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love <clears throat> shall abide with him. Now, that love doesn't mean, okay, you're going to love everybody and, and everybody's good. Nobody has to go against anyone. <clears throat> okay, but doesn't scripture also say, Open rebuke is better than secret love? So <coughs> luck, <coughs> I got something stuck in my throat, man. You know? But isn't open rebuke better than secret love? What is secret love? <coughs> Not telling your neighbor that he's going off so that he doesn't hate you. And that's what these people want. These people want Gray Millstone. <coughs> Gray Millstone to, to turn their necks. Right to turn their heads from from the wickedness they're doing. Ah, uh, just let us do what we're doing. You know, you keep doing you, and we'll keep doing us. Okay, but according to the scriptures, we have to bring this stuff out, man. You know, if something's not going according to what the Spirit wanted to, if something's going against the scriptures, then we have to bring forth edification. You know, well, you think Apostle Paul, just that the the Gentiles that came into this truth to do whatever they wanted to do. <clears throat> You know, they didn't do just whatever they wanted to do. There was a council that was that was held, you know, in the book of Acts. When you read it, there was a council that was held and the apostle said, OK, this is what you have to do. This is what you cannot do. If you do this and you're going off. <coughs> and that's the same spirit we're coming in, man. You have to do this. You have to do that. And you can't be doing this. OK. <coughs> The elders also go into brothers that, that break down the scriptures wrong, man. <coughs> you know, if a brother breaks down the scriptures wrong, another brother was going to correct it and say, hey, you know, <coughs> this, this, and this doesn't mean this. This, this, and this means that. You know, and according to the book of Proverbs, a wise man will hear <coughs> and increase learning. You know, but you have a lot of these dudes that are sensible, all right, sensitive Israelites, all right, saying, let's all get along, let's all love each other, you know, like this dude here, we need to, to stand together as a nation, if the wicked were to kick down your door this very moment, would, wouldn't, <clears throat> wouldn't ask what camp any of us belong to, would they? <coughs> <coughs> <clears throat> you know and yeah that's true if the wicked started all right coming they don't have to ask you they don't care they don't care what what camp you belong to why because they want to kill all israel it doesn't matter what camp you belong to man okay it doesn't but what does scripture say <clears throat> you know the way you have bashim yawashai set it up is it is better that you suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. Okay, why? Because at one point, everybody's going to suffer. Jacob's trouble's right around the corner. You know? Jacob's trouble's right around the corner, and we're all going to suffer. But those that have the true doctrine are suffering for righteousness' sake. Those that don't have the true doctrine are suffering to get destroyed. And that's it. <coughs> You see, back at Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3 and 9, they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him, for grace and mercy is to his saints, and he hath care for his elect. But be ungodly. Who's the ungodly? Besides Esau, Edom, is two thirds of Israel. The ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the Lord. How did they neglect the, the righteous? How did they neglect the Lord? <clears throat> First Ezra chapter 1 and verse 50. Nevertheless, the Most High, the God of their fathers, sent by his messengers to call them back <clears throat> because he spared them and his tabernacle also 
Okay, so that's Israel. But they had his messengers in derision. You see? So two-thirds of Israel is going to what? Not listen. Okay, that's also in the book of Zechariah chapter 13. And look, when the Lord spake unto them, they made sport of his prophets. You see? <clears throat> so no, this isn't about unity. Okay, this isn't about a nation coming together and, <clears throat> you know, all Israel, you know, bowing down to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh No, man. All right, the book of Romans even explains that. What was that? Uh, Romans... <coughs> 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 Um, let me see, Salak. So I've been trying to <clears throat> clear my throat out, man, you know. But, uh, what was it? Romans 9 and. Mm, Romans 9 and 18. Therefore, hath he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and whom he will, he hardeneth. You see? So we rebuke these other camps, and if the Most High hardens their heart, and doesn't make them turn to the truth then guess what that's what the most high did <clears throat> you know it says that will say unto me then why doth the, he yet find fault for who has resisted his will but nay nay but O oh man who art thou that replies against the most high shall the thing form say to the thing that formed it why hast thou made me thus okay <clears throat> it says have not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor. Okay? What happened to Judas Iscariot? You know? You think how Bashim Yahushai was, was happy with, with Judas Iscariot? He was like, oh yeah, man, you know, you made me proud. You did what you did the job, you know, that, that, that an elect man would do. Okay, what about Saul? <clears throat> you know? What about all the wicked men of Israel? You know, you think the Most High is like, yeah, yeah, we're we're <clears throat> we're gonna wait until until they turn into righteousness. You know, the kingdom would never come if we had a way for all Israel to repent and for all of us to be brothers. The kingdom would never come. You know, but they were made for our sake. You see, <coughs> they were made for our sake. It says, um. Verse 24 says, <clears throat> uh, luck. Verse 22, it says, What if the Most High, willing to show his wrath and to make his power known, endured with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, which is Esau, Edom, <coughs> and the other nations, and that he might make known the riches of his glory unto the vessels of mercy? which he had afore prepared unto glory, even us, the elect, <clears throat> whom he hath called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles, as he has said also <clears throat> in O.C., <clears throat> I will call them my people, which are not my people, which are who? The ones that, that weren't, weren't turned back to Yahweh, Bashem Yahweh Shai, like we weren't, right? At one point, we were considered heathen. You know, we considered ourselves heathen, considered ourselves niggas and, and spicks, <clears throat> Mexicans and, and blacks and Latinos and, and Native Americans. OK, not knowing that we were Israelites. You see, it says in her beloved, which was not beloved, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it is said unto them, ye are not my people, there shall they be called the children of the living power. You see, <clears throat> there's also another one. <clears throat> Let me see. Wherefore, I think this one was in Romans 11. <coughs> <clears throat> this is uh, Romans 11 and 7. What then Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the rest, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. You see? The rest of who? The rest of the nation of Israel. Okay, according as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. Okay, so why do we make videos? For the elect. 
Okay, so the elect can listen and the elect can have instruction <clears throat> so that they can increase. Let their eyes be darkened that they may not see and bow their back always. I say then, have they, slump, have they stumbled, <clears throat> stumbled that they should fall? God forbid. Okay, why? Because in the kingdom of heaven, they're all going to come back. Okay? They're all going to come back. The Most High de dedicated the two-thirds of Israel to come up, come up against the, the one-third of Israel, okay, for their destruction, but they're going to come back in the kingdom of heaven through reincarnation through the seed line of the elect men. You see? It says, God forbid, but rather that their, fall that their fall salvation is come unto the Gentiles, which is us, for to provoke them to jealousy. Now, if they fall of them, be the riches of the world and the diminishing of them, the riches of the Gentiles, how much more their fullness. For I speak to you Gentiles inasmuch as I am an apostle of the Gentiles and I magnify my office. <clears throat> now, jumping down, it says, um, let me see. <laughs> They are beloved of the Father. Let me see. A lock, a lock. Try to find it real quick. For it is a promise, time, Sarah, Isaac. Should we say that in adventures? They are beloved. I believe it was Romans 9 down here. Not the righteous, saints the righteousness. It's a lock, it's a lock. Let me see if I can find it real quick. It was 11.28, con. Romans 11, and let me start off at 27. <clears throat> so like verse 26, all right, because a lot of people get this mistaken. Romans 11.26, and so all Israel shall be saved, okay? All Israel shall be saved, which is through what? Through the elect, okay? Because the elect are the only ones that are going to be saved. And then afterward, in the kingdom of heaven, all Israel will be saved. You see, as it is written, there shall come out of Zion the deliverer and shall turn away the ungodliness from Jacob. When Yahawashai died, he died for the whole nation. Okay? But the salvation of the destruction that's coming is only for the elect. Okay? It says, for this is my covenant unto them. <laughs> When I take away their sins As concerning the gospel Now our sins are not taken away just yet <clears throat> The sins are going to be taken away When Yahawashai comes back And our bodies are changed Okay But those that do the work according to doctrine Okay Are going to be found in that grace As concerning the gospel They are enemies for your sakes You see <coughs> So there is no unity Two-thirds of Israel are enemies for our sakes. Okay? At the one that says, Lord willing, I'm part of that number, the 144. Okay? But they, two-thirds of Israel are our enemies for our sakes. But as touching the election, 
They are beloved for the Father's sake. All Israel's beloved from the Father. Okay? As touching the election goes, as far as nations, the Most High loves all Israel. Amos chapter 3. Okay? But according to salvation of the destruction that's coming, only the elect are going to receive that mercy. You see? So this is a... <coughs> Jeremiah 7 and 16. Therefore pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Seest thou what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? Look at Israel right now, man. Okay? Look at IUIC. Look what they're teaching. You know, look at the stuff that HODC is teaching. Look at the stuff that these other Israelite camps are teaching, man. And look at the doctrine. You don't think the Most High is upset? You don't think the Most High is going to bring judgment? You know, and we don't rejoice when, when, when judgment is passed. You know, we have that mindset that Paul had. We wish that everybody would be like us you know that everybody was doing good and eventually they will in the kingdom of heaven you know eventually it'll happen in the kingdom of heaven man but it's not going to happen here you know <clears throat> this is Sirach 24 and 36 it says like in verse 33 it says I will yet pour out doctrine as prophecy and leave it to all ages forever you see it says behold i have not labored for myself only but for all them that seek wisdom which are who the elect <clears throat> okay so if iuic doesn't want to seek after that wisdom you know and they want to keep bringing folly and we correct them on it guess what there is going to be no no unity. We're not going to stand together as a nation, man. That's not what scripture says. Okay? That's not what scripture says. You know? And going into that that next topic, you know, if the kick it, if the wicked were to kick down your door, <clears throat> you know, it's going to happen. You know, because there's a time of trouble. There's a time of trouble that's coming. It's going to happen. They're going to kick down your door. But like Yahweh I said, it's better that you suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. You know, they're going to try and kill you regardless. Whether you're IUIC or whether you're HODC, you know, whether you got the bag. You know, whether you were an agent or not. If you're an Israelite, they're going to come after you, man. You know, but I bet you one thing, when that time comes, guess what name they're going to try to use? Okay, and who, who has that doctrine? Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. Guess who's going to call on those names? You're going to have a lot of IUIC mockers. You're going to have a lot of other camps. They're going to try and call on the name Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. You know, it's just like the atheists. The atheists, they always say that they don't believe in God, Right? And not until they're, they're, they're met with, with death. Oh, God, please, if you're real, if you... Right? <clears throat> so what are they going to do? These two-thirds, whenever it comes to that, that destruction time, okay, that ass-whooping time, the judgment time, guess what they're going to call on? Yahabashim Yahushai. And guess what he's going to say? Nay, I never knew thee. You see? But you want to follow somebody that calls on Christ. You want to call you. You want to follow after somebody that says God most high praise. You know, calls on the name Jebus. <clears throat> you see. We're not supposed to be making, you know, any type of unity. This building is strictly for the elect. The elect are building the building 
okay? Through Yahweh Shai, through the Spirit, through the Most High Yahweh. Okay, we're building this building, and this does not pertain to anybody else. You see? It says, <clears throat> Jeremiah 7 and verse 17, Seest thou what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? You don't think the Most High is upset with what they're doing? The children gather wood, and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto the gods that they may provoke me to anger. Who, who does IUIC call out to? They call out to this Christ figure, man. That's not his name. They call out to Jehovah or, or Yo Plate, whatever you want to call him. You can call him whatever you want to call him. You think that's sound doctrine? You think if the elect were, were set up on the earth by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you think they would be telling you that? In order to seek salvation? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Call on whoever you want to call. That's some Steve Harvey shit, man. That's not how it works. But they're provoking Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai to anger. And that's why this year it's turning up. That's why this year you have so many people dying. Mockers, you know, verse 19. Do they provoke me to anger? Saith Yahweh, do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces? You see, you're going down the wrong path, man. You know, especially when it comes to this truth, man. If you're brand new to this truth, all right, your thing is not to open your mouth. You see. I learned that early on, man. When you're coming into this truth, your thing is not to open your mouth. You don't know shit. You know? Your thing is to listen. And if you don't agree with it, then you shut up and you let the spirit do its work, man. You let Yahab Hashem Yahweh work through you to increase you. Humble yourself. But you stand there, oh, we should all just get along. Let's let's just let's just hold hands. That's not what it's about, man. This thing is about the elect. Okay, this is the most highest movie, not yours. Not mine. Okay, my will is not done. The most highest will is done. You see? This is all of, of the most high. You see, verse 20, Therefore thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, my anger and my fury shall be poured out upon this place, upon man. And upon beasts, and upon the trees of the field, and upon the fruit of the ground, and it shall burn, and it shall not be quenched. So if somebody dies, okay, and if somebody gets judgment from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, then guess what? The Most High did it. You see? The Most High did it. All we do is tell you why. You know? This isn't about no unity camps, man. You know, this isn't about no unity camps. This is about the doctrine. If you have the correct doctrine, okay, then you have to follow it. <clears throat> That's it. The wicked, when they kick down the door, they're going to come looking for any Israelite, man. It's not just, oh, what camp are you? Oh, are you? I see. Oh, okay, we're going to leave you. No. Okay. What camp? Oh, GMS. Oh, yeah, that's it. Get it. No. They're going to come for everybody. But like Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai said, it is better that you suffer for well-doing than for evil-doing. You see? Because we're all going to suffer. You know? So, yes, technically it's about a camp. It's about who, who the correct doctrine is, right? And which camp has that correct doctrine? You know? Which camp goes into the scriptures, all right, to prove that doctrine, which is prophecy through prophecy, you know? You won't find that IUIC. They can't tell you who the mark of the beast is. They always change it. One was the mark of the beast was uh, uh, <coughs> police. All right. Israelite police. Israelites that go in, in, in into the, the U.S. Army. That's the mark of the beast to, to some. Christianity is the mark of the beast to IUIC. Philosophy is the mark of the beast to IUIC. B.O.W. believes that the mark of the beast is tariffs. 
You know, this is about who has the correct doctrine, not what you feel. So I hope that was edifying with that. I want to give all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash, Shalom.